Would you rather boo straightener Tristan or fight straightener me? Make a choice right here, right now. That's Ross. That's a good one. Good show, man. Tristan's case man. Me and Luke were always bag men. Yeah, always been bag men. Tristan's a case man. And now he has to collect his case halfway through our three flight adventure. Move his case, check in his case. Let's carry my bag. Yep, nice bag. Nice bag. Well, Luke doesn't have any stuff. I have stuff. No excuse, he does have stuff. I have stuff. He just doesn't need the ground to carry his stuff for him. Yeah, I'm, I've got muscles. Yeah, he has legs. So I carry my own stuff. Ah, oh, nice. Put the case on. Yeah, you put your own case on. Yeah. Want okay. to disappear. Alright. That would be funny. That would get you all your stuff disappearing because you wouldn't carry it yourself. I admit you couldn't beat the case. I admit it. We're going to jail because you couldn't beat the case. It doesn't make any sense. You are case man. You are case man. Oh, I like being bag man, it's nice. I have I my don't, I don't care. I have my stuff with me. Yeah, you say that now. Wait till we're in San Fran. Exactly. You say that now. I have to I'm move walking around San Fran airport with the hobos. Wait, yeah. Waiting in lines, trying to find your case and move your case. I'll probably some shit around your case by then. I'm first class and I'm waiting in line. No one can take my stuff from me. You have to wait for your case. Case man stuff's already been taken. It's gone now. It's got robbed. There it goes. Broad daylight. Yeah, broad daylight. Sandy, should we tell it to move or? Why? Why would I have to move? Should he move or? He's our cousin, isn't he? Yeah, I'm literally part of your family. I don't know, didn't you legally divorce him from our family somehow? What do you mean legally divorce him from family? I'm not sure you're allowed in the family. Why? Me and Andrew are more family than you are, That's technically. That's true, I am a cousin. It's a reserve for family. I think you need to get lost. No, it's okay, it's okay, no. Let's, I'll let's, just let's, leave. Let's, you know let's, let's, recon anyway. let's reconcile our family differences over a drink. No. Much refreshing gin and tonic. I don't want a booze. Why is boozing started? We have 26 hours of flying. Look, we have to reconcile our, fam our family differences it so you can remain at the table. It can't be a 26-hour booze fest. Oh, can't it? There's no way we'll survive. It can't be. <laughs> Sometimes in life you just have to bite the bullet. First class business. Or first class. Yeah, we'll go to first class. Flights to Las Vegas shouldn't be biting the bullet. It should be pleasant. That's why you have first class. Yeah, right. right. Lucas just said you're afraid. I Luke didn't just say that you're that. afraid. Three gin and tonics, three glasses of wine, Luke's 26 thinking, hours of flying. I know, mine's completely... 26 hours of flying, and Luke's saying, oh, the Talos is scared to keep drinking because he has 26 more hours in the sky. Luke's challenged you to a booze straightener. I've never straightener. lost a challenge yet. A booze I straightener. I haven't challenged you never at all. Would you rather booze straightener Tristan or fight straightener me? Make feel, a choice right here, right now. That's Ross. That's a good one. We don't even have gloves for the fucking real straightener. Nope, no gloves. No. I have to what? go with. Ah. I feel like the fight straightener would be too easy. You'd knock him out too quick. On to, with me, you'd be 22 hours in. Can't walk. <laughs> Throwing up on himself. Drinking <laughs> 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 more. That is what would happen. I feel, like, I feel like the amount of pain may be similar. But what is what does GNT out? stand for? Good and time. <laughs> That's not what it stands for. It does. This isn't first class. Drink it all. It is. It's first class. Ooh, Look, you're flying first class. Ooh, this is real first. Ooh, Do you remember on Take Confidential when you had a big deal about being in crappy business class that wasn't real business class? This is real. Well, the first two, the, the first two, uh, the first flight for four hours is fake business class. So you can do your warm up drinks there. But then we've got 15 hours of real business. I don't need warm up drinks. Real first class. I don't need age drinks. First class, second class. <laughs> Andrew, three more GTs? Three more. Luke, go get him. 
Three more good times, please. You're the junior guy. Three more good times, please. Take a bullet. Ah. Look at the Want to sit at the family table? Stop disappointing this family. So, this, first of all, this is very, very, very nice. And you guys are telling me this isn't even real. No, this is good business class. You've never been in good no, business No, this is very, very nice. No, there's better. Our next place is better than this. He literally took our bags and put them on. Yes, and put your jacket on. And he hung up our jacket. And then he offered us champagne. Yes, I know. Obviously. Well, what, do you, without champagne, what do you mean, obvious? Do you not know physics? The things don't take off without champagne, you dumbass. If the three people in front don't have enough bubbles in their system, it doesn't get enough lift. It's not real. That's what happens. It's not what happens. It's carbonated blood to make sure that the front of the plane isn't too heavy. It's not real. That can't be real. You he let me offer to put our bags on. He, he put your bag away for you. Yeah. So you don't. I know. I'm rich. I, I'm on ship I, hunter. I know, but no one realized that this is a thing, a thing that can that, happen. Yeah, ship hunter. Yeah, no, I've never fucking, done that before. Where's my fucking champs? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. They have a footrest. I guess I'm not tall enough, really. No, the seat goes Easy. down to, to the foot flat. Ah. Uh, good luck trying to sleep. You're wrong. You're wrong. Right. You're wrong. Right. No, I even I know that. You're wrong. Right. Champagne and refreshing towels. I thought they weren't allowed to give you booze before you take off because it shakes and stuff. No, but that's a common thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. Poor people are not allowed booze before they take off because of the shakes. But rich people are. <laughs> give it. They were really offered. Yeah, please drink the booze. Please. Drink Literally. The booze. Please drink the booze. It was. Please have more booze. What would you like to drink before we take off? I that's what happened. The booze. I said a classic he just happened champagne. To say champagne. What else did you say? Orange juice? Gin and tonic. What is this? Whiskey soda. Pineapple margarita. They even rim the glass with salt. You see? I do see. It's a real margarita. So what did you order? I ordered whatever Andrew ordered. I'm hoping there's zero booze. You wish. Yeah, right. So fuck. I ordered booze of some kind. Wunderbar. I guess it'll be a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise, I guess. Surprise booze? Listen, look, you tell you something about me. I'm not a boozer. I can do it, but I don't really want to. If I have to destroy myself to destroy you, I'll do it. What's the best? Ah, oh, just how do I do this? Pull it up. Sorry, I'm new. He's new to business. He's new to business. I'm new to business. Class. He's our cousin. Welcome to the business. Class. Thank you. All right. People won't believe the amount of booze. They don't understand. People don't believe the amount we drink. They go, you know, oh, you made it up. They, they don't actually understand all You know what I genuinely think happens? I think they hear me complain. And they think, ah, oh, it's not even that much. They don't understand. Yeah. Because they've never been around this caliber of men. I don't have to sit down there. Tristan, who's this man with us? You know who it is. No. I, I can't tell. You know, you know exactly who it is. You don't know who I am because you can't see my face. No, I know who you are. You don't know who I am. Luke knows who, who you are. are. Everyone knows who you are. Ask who I am. Who are you? I'm not telling you. I know the who Fucking is. faceless man again. I know who you You don't know who I am. Bye. Exactly who he is. Nobody knows who I am. So do you. The man with no face. I know who he is. I'm a man with no face. Alright, I'm going to sit down. What do you guys... I live at my own hotel room, Tristan. This is your hotel room, which I'm invading. My presence. It's not a hotel room. It's a scene. No, it's a hotel room. It's not. Look, they even have little doors. Like it's a, it's a first class scene. Tristan. Yes, I know. Look, 4D. Uh, yes, I know. I'm 3A. I know they have doors. You must be 4A. No, I'm 4B. We're, and we're neighbors. No, I'm 4B. I don't know what the way it, it works differently. Oh, really? Anyway, this is quite cool. Yeah, I know it is. They even have nice music here. I, know uh, I don't think they have this nice music in the comedy. How can I not shut you out? Uh, because I'm over, I've gone over the roof. Good luck avoiding the booze then. I could avoid the booze, I could hide. You can't hide back there. Keep that man, hit it. I will attack you. Ah, and I have a footrest. I 
Aikido. First class. First class Aikido. Let's get signed up. A little something you've been developing. Unlimited boots, Luke. You know what I'm saying? It is late, unlimited boots. I've, I've been eating loads. I haven't recorded any of it. But I've literally been trying to kill them with my food consumption. Yeah, but the food is. I'm ready to eat again. You have to drink the booze. Drink the booze, but the booze doesn't go well with the food. Yes, it does. I still haven't touched my martini. No, it's not good. That's not refreshing. You must not be eating as much as me. You're, boo you're out boozing them. I'm out eating them. How much have I eaten? I've had three afternoon teas. Stop. And three main courses. <laughs> and I will continue to eat until they run out of money. This isn't how they run It is. Look at Mr. Case, man. Grabbing his case. Yeah. You don't have a driver's license, do you? You don't have a driver's license. Mr. Caseman had to look for his case. Had to go through. Had to walk through, looking through the cases. Oh, is this mine? I don't have a little car when you don't. Not qualified? I thought we were didn't help the earth carry the luggage for It's not the earth, it's the car. You don't use cars? You can get over yourself. Do you need to get back quick, Walker? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. So we're getting pure poison. Oh, yeah, pure poison. Pure poison. Wait, we need to get sweet tea. Dangerous, baby. This is dangerous and boring. The ultimate combo. The ultimate combo. I killed myself. You think I wasn't going to? No, Andrew, don't do it. Why? Andrew, don't do it. Tristan, I'm depressed. Don't do what? I'm in America, my least favorite country on the planet. We've done this before. There's nowhere worse than the rainbow. Almost at the end of this rainbow is extreme heartburn. Extreme heartburn, eh? Well, we can start it off with Crispy Junior's Donuts. powdered sugar Crispy Green Donuts. Do I want one? I kind of want one, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone wants one. Look at this. Look at them. Want one, Luke? I definitely want one. Mm. Who wouldn't want one? You Look at it. You two will live, you you will live to regret this. Want no, I don't. Mm. So you're scared of crispy cream? Yeah. Yes. What the? Scared of crispy cream? There's no light at the end of this tunnel. Can you admit? Your brain is inside of your body. And you use it to think. And you think of stupid shit, as you say. Admit all that. Oh. <laughs> How do I admit it? This is true. Let me have a five-hour energy, please. Look, isn't it supposed to be one of your greatest cities? I mean, San Francisco. No, I told you guys. This airport looks like a man's ass. I, I forgot they guys are expecting shopping. Yeah, I thought it'd be a Gucci store or something. No, there's no universe. <laughs> what do you mean Gucci store? I thought it was the richest country in the world. <laughs> they never have these in America. They have these nowhere else. Only in America. Christian has a brain he uses to think of words, and he says the words. That's what happens. That's what happens, isn't it? every day. It does smell good. Have one. I have just one. Just one. Damn. Where I find? Damn. Give up. Tristan, look at it. I'm turning outside. It's extreme bites. All different flavors together. They look like poison. Oh, just because they look like poison doesn't mean they're not nutritious and delicious. They might be nutritious and delicious. <laughs> 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 it looks like the most poisonous thing I've ever seen in my life. If an animal was that color, it wouldn't go near it. You would not go near it. <laughs> this is the greatest country in the world. Then you're doing it wrong. Don't read the ingredients. <laughs> Tristan, stop reading the ingredients of the things I drink. Total fat, 0%. Total sodium, 0% of your daily value. Total sugars, 48 grams, 96% of your daily <laughs> Tristan, don't you want some? <laughs> it's delicious and nutritious. 96 percent Tristan, even burn. How do Americans drink some? Stuff? Have Take some. It. I don't want it. So Tristan's just gonna drink water. Yes. So you already told me if I don't have my mask on, it's a federal offense. I've already been approached being told there's a federal offense to have my mask on, so this is how I wear my mask now. I'm gonna wear my mask. America is officially the worst country in the world. Look at this airport. This is San Francisco. I thought this was a big country. I've been all over the world. I've been to 72 countries. I was in Sudan. I was in Chisinau, Moldova, and they had a nicer airport than this. <laughs> I just came from Doha, shopping at Gucci and drinking champagne. Now I'm eating airheads with a fucking root beer. I thought this country was rich. 
whole, it's all dirty, it's all old, it's crap. There's nothing nice. The whole place is crap. And if you take your mask off, they're gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst country in the world. I never, I'm never coming here again. I've got 10 or 11 million dollars. I'm not that rich. But what kind of pussy would I be if I'd be scared to lose one of my millions? I have 11, now I have 10. If I'm not contributing towards the destruction of, of hedge funds, this is the thing, this is the problem with millionaires nowadays. They're such pussies. I have 11 million, ooh, do, do, do. They put I don't it in, care. They put it in hedge funds. They put it, <laughs> they put it in hedge funds. <laughs> we don't have to be a in hedge funds. We're from the street. I'm looking at my life as a hedge fund. I'm not stupid. I got 11 million, right? Let me tell you something. My life would be exactly the same if I had 5 million. Yeah, so if I had to lose 6 million to destroy Wall Street, I'm ready to fucking go. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them all. These people on Reddit are geniuses. They're geniuses. And this GameStop thing is genius. If you actually look at it and read what they've done, it's pure genius. It's it is brilliant. pure genius. And what they're doing on all these other stocks, and they're going to war with hedge funds. Have you seen their open letter? They made a letter to CNBC yes. who was saying bad things about them, saying, we want to see loss porn. I'm tired of my account going to zero and I have to give hand jobs at Wendy's. <laughs> when you get bailed out. We're taking you all down. I'm in. I'm in. This is officially on the internet. I'm in for six mil. Twitter, tell me what to do. Tell me what to buy. I'm cashing six mil of crypto. We're going in six mil. We're going to take out hedge funds. What kind of man would I be if I didn't go to war with a hedge fund? <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in years. It's super it's fun. Super... This is one of the funniest things. It is. This is, why, this is why, though. This is why. These hedge fund cunts, I've been around them. Most of you guys watching this haven't been around these kind of people. I've yeah. been around these kind of people. I when know. I was kickboxing world champion, or when I was buying my Bugatti, Once or when I was months. hanging out in Monaco, I've been around these people. They're the worst people on earth. They're rude to staff. They have no respect for anybody. They're cunts. And they have no talent. They don't make money. They just have a pot of money and they manipulate markets and make their little pot go up with other people's money and they get bailed out by the government anyway. They're complete dickheads with no skill. The worst people, the worst people in the world. And they will, they'll wipe out all the normal traders, all the average person. They'll completely wipe them out and they'll sit there with their big pot of money and manipulate the markets. When this cunt wakes up and his 13 billion <laughs> is gone. He hasn't got an income. He hasn't got a business. He can't make it back. 13 billion has vanished from the stock market and gone to Redditors. People are fucking Reddit. It's brilliant. It's been two days, two whole days, six hour flight, six hour wait, 15 hour flight, seven hour wait. Just got on this flight, closed the door, got to the runway, turned around, told me to get off the flight. We don't know why. It's been two days and I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And I don't want to be where I'm supposed to be anyway. So I do apologize uh, for the delay, but uh, if you please uh, take all your belongings with you and um, we'll have you go back up in the terminal for now. Thank you very much. A couple hours before we leave because the first officer didn't feel well. Nice. I'll be first officer. Just let me in. What the fuck? I gotta do nothing. Just autopilot. Just a blood clot. Give me a vodka and tonic. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Faceless man's back. It's been two whole days. It's been two days. We flew from Bucharest to Doha, took six hours, waited six hours, got on a plane, 15 hours to San Francisco, waited seven hours, got on our plane to go to Vegas, sat on the plane. Then after taking out, after leaving the gate, about to take off, they turn around, go back to the gate and say, well, the, the co-pilot doesn't feel well. Get back off the plane. It's gonna be three hours more, but that's clearly a lie. This is all a lie. Don't you understand that America is the worst country in the world? This doesn't happen in other places. I've been everywhere. This doesn't happen anywhere else. It only happens here for some reason. Everything's so ugly and brutally inefficient, and everybody's so disgustingly. Everyone looks horrible. Everything's cheap and nasty and trash from the food to the attitudes of the staff who are supposed to help you. It's the worst country in the world. I hate America. It's the worst country in the world. If I take my mask off, they're going to shoot me. Why am I here? This is ass. So, what's happening? The people at the airport and the people flying the plane can't decide how many people should be on the plane and how many people are on the plane. So, like, uh, they've counted us about 10 times. Yeah, minimum. And we're, we're an hour late. Yep. 
count number two. The pilot is now counting. Yep. Good old counting. I trust him too. Well, I, can, I trust him to fly the plane, so I trust him to count the number of people in the two. It's not very Me as well. That would be funny if all three of them had different numbers after counting physically like that. I think the people on the plane have the same number, but the, the ticketing, airports, and, yeah. The airport's arguing with them saying this is less or more. America, isn't it the best? Best country in the world. Aren't you guys glad we're here? Romanians definitely would have just left the people behind. Oh, sure. <laughs> Romania, I would have bribed the pilot. I know. To we definitely would have just bribed the pilot. Please leave. So we made it to Vegas. We're here. Welcome to Vegas. Admit, admit you want this vodka, Luke. I know. Why not? We're on a balcony overlooking Vegas. We're making thousands and thousands of dollars. For no reason. 